Welcome everybody to My Weight World TV. I'm Dr. Brenda MD and I'm here today with our certified nutritionist and personal trainer Scott White. Today we're going to talk about goals. Welcome Scott. Hi. Scott, are goals really necessary? Yes, they're very important. There's been a study done where there was a class of people and two people wrote down their goals and they had specific timelines in their goals mm -hmm. and then the rest of the class just had the goals. They didn't write it down or anything. Well, those two people, they came back, it was like 20 or 30 years later, and those two people made more money than the whole class combined. Wow. And so just showing how important it is to set goals. Wow. Um, how do you set goals then? You know, you want to make sure you have a, a, a timeline when you set a goal. You know, it has to be realistic. You know, if you, you want to be an astronaut and you're not in the academy or any of that stuff, you want to make sure, you know, you, ha you have degrees and things like that. So it has to be realistic. So if you expect to lose 50 pounds by tomorrow, you know, without cutting off your arm or leg, that might not be the most realistic goal. So set something up so it's realistic, it's got to be measurable, you want a goal that's measurable so you, you can have it and track progress too. You, you don't want to just not have any progress to know if you are getting the results and moving towards your goal. So you want something that you can measure and know that you are getting close to your goal. You know, so the timeline, measurable, you know, Writing it down is very important. You know, write it in a journal, write it somewhere you can keep track of and look at it every so often. And then of course, the more often you look at it, it helps refresh it in your brain that, you know, that's what you want to stick to and have. That's great. Um, how do you set realistic goals? You know, again, with just being the measurable and making it so it's realistic. So if you don't know what a realistic goal is from a weight loss standpoint, you know, you might not go by weight on a scale because that doesn't necessarily measure, you know, what's really on that scale. You know, are you losing fat? Are you putting on muscle? You know, are you losing muscle or, you know, what it may be. And so you want to make sure, you know, do, do circumference measurements, do body fat measurements, you know, you know, measure it that way from a, a a weight loss or a fat loss standpoint. And so then you know, hey, I can lose, you know, five pounds of fat, you know, in X amount of time. My goal is, you know, and on average healthy reasons, you want to lose one to two pounds of fat per week. So that, uh, that said, you want to make it as realistic as possible and not have some just gigantic thing where you're like, I want to lose 50 pounds in a month. You know, you can, but typically that's not going to be very healthy to do. Yeah, because muscle does weigh more than fat, so you'd get depressed thinking you're not well, actually, your goal. You know, Brenda, I, I always love that question. Well, you know, five pounds of muscle and five pounds of fat weigh exactly the same thing. Right. But the thing about five pounds of fat takes up a lot more space, so it's about a small child of five pounds of fat. Uh, five pounds of muscle only take about a you know, softball size up on your body. Right. So the space it takes up is a lot less comparatively to fat on your body. But they, of course, weigh the same. Right, so you and would so, think you weren't reaching your goal, but you really are. Definitely, okay. definitely. That's why you want to have those measurements. Okay. Um, should I shoot high, try to win the marathon, or should I just plan on finishing? You know, of course, it's always good to shoot high. I mean, don't, don't go crazy, but it, mm -hmm. it's go for gusto, go for the moon, you know. You want to be as motivated as possible, and so shoot as high as possible. But the thing is, don't shoot high so high that you're upset if you don't hit your goals. You know, not hitting your goals isn't the end of the road. You know, if you didn't make it to that 50 pounds but you lost 25, that's huge progress. That's amazing. Reward yourself. Be happy about it. You know, you just made major successes to get to that 50 pounds. And of course, as time goes on, keep progress and go back to your goals and see, you know, how close you are getting or how far away so you can make adjustments if need be. Yeah, that brings me to my next one. Um, I was going to ask you about setting short-term goals to help, you know, reach the ultimate long-term goal. Does that help? Definitely. You want to have, you know, a plan of action. You don't want to have something that's so long and far away because mm -hmm. then you won't get, be so motivated. So if you constantly hit small little goals, mm -hmm. it keeps you motivated and inspired. So you continually achieve, you know, little steps and goals. And it's always good to reward yourself. Do something good for yourself. You know, have a spa day. You know, do something that you really enjoy that's really relaxing, that's, that's fun and exciting that you can look forward to. You know, buy a new pair of shoes. Do something, you know, a new workout out. Outfit, something that is still in line with your goals and what you want and of course makes you feel even better because you're now getting further ahead and closer to your main goal because let's face it once you get to the, your main goal of you know a, a dress size a, a, you know a fat loss size you're gonna want to do more and you know life goes on you don't just say oh well hey I hit my goal time to get fat again you know you want to just keep going you know just keep it going yeah 
yeah, set your next goal. Right? Definitely. All right, so write down your goals, have timelines, uh, measure it, uh, keep it in a journal. Um, go for it, go for the gusto, why not? And remember the short-term goals and reward yourself when you reach your goals. Yeah. All right, well, thank you, Scott. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Dr. Brenda, MD, and we'll see you next time at My Weight World TV.